Hello guys. Okay, I am on my newfound favorite chair. Hold on, it's swinging. It's sunny morning, it's 9 a.m. This has been my new morning routine for the past, I think literally like three days, is my chair. And I am obsessed with it. Reading on this in the morning and like evening time is literally the best thing ever. But I decided to reading vlog my next few reads because they're all kind of like just summer books and I feel like a cute summer reading vlog would be fun. Here are my books. I only have one with me right now. I started it last night. Every Summer After by, what's her name? Carly Fortune. Like right off the bat, I'm only on chapter I think two. Not far. So this is like a first reaction to the book. I got secondhand embarrassment just because it felt like this author read. Well, let's, before we say that, I'm reading this book because someone said, if you mix whatever with Love and Other Words, you get this book. Okay. You say Love and Other Words, I will get it. So I read the back and it's basically about a girl and a guy who spent summers together. They fell apart because she did something. So I'm like, that sounds eerily familiar so i read the first few chapter or not the first chapter felt like the author read love and other words and was like how can we knock this off and that's how i felt when i first read the first chapter of this book like obviously a personal opinion but it just felt like i was rereading a different version of love and other words and i feel like that's how i'm gonna feel throughout the book but i'm gonna give it the benefit of the doubt and not think negatively that was just like a first thought that happened to be negative but i'm gonna keep going it's just hard not to because it's so similar i'm gonna keep reading and i'm not gonna think negatively even though i started off thinking not nice opinion it's fine though this is our first book we're gonna read this we're gonna read it happened one summer and then i want to finish the what happened in paradise what happens in paradise series by ellen Holdbrand. i read the first one so i'm gonna reread it with you it's kind of short but it's a series of three i want to do like a summer reading vlog and those are the books that i have that are summary so i'm gonna sit i'm gonna read i'll take you through this book with me see how long it takes to finish i'm hoping i'm gonna could finish this in like two days so we're gonna have to bang it out okay i'm inside i have to change because i need to go get coffee but i am the biggest sucker for childhood or like a teenage friends to lovers romance i don't know what it is but when like kids i mean they're not really kids in this book like i remember being 13 in seventh grade and not really feeling like a little kid but they obviously seem younger now and when they're just like hanging out and like connecting like that like i think it's cute so her name is persephone but they call her percy so she got a call and she has to go back to the lake or whatever she hasn't seen sam in 12 years that whole thing but it's like a flashback and she makes little friendship bracelets and it's really cute she's gonna make one like matching friendship bracelets i don't why am i a sucker for things like this it's literally like not that deep but i just things like that get me i'm on page 28 gonna go get coffee and we will continue reading page 140 i don't know how many pages are in this but it looks like i'm like halfway should be around halfway i don't feel like calculating that right now but i have a few predictions of what happened to them 12 years ago or what percy did to sam i think i'm gonna be right this one feels a little obvious of what happened i mean that's if i'm right but i think i am like i could tell by like the things she's saying to him like now like when they're older and when they just like met up again obviously i don't know i think i know what happened the book in general i am enjoying it you guys know one thing about me is i am a sucker for this trope i love when they're able to like rekindle their first love stuff like that like all of that but it doesn't feel like original in any sense but nonetheless like it's a good book like i'm thoroughly enjoying it because it has like everything that i like but it's just like so similar to other really good books but other than that enjoying it i'm gonna keep going fingers crossed finish it today So my favorite part, well, one of my favorite parts of Love and Other Words is when Elliot comes back and tells Macy, this is spoiler alert. Well, not really spoiler, whatever. He sees her for the first time and the next day they like plan to meet up and then she asks about his girlfriend and he's like, I saw you for the first time. I wasn't going to pretend I'm not like still in love with you. Like I broke up with her last night. And what just happened in the book is the same thing. I don't think this is a spoiler. I'm sorry if it is. I had to say it. That's just like the number one where you know that they're still in love with each other is when they have a relationship or they're like kind of with someone and then they saw them for the first time again and it was like can't even fathom being with someone else i'm also eating a gogurt but i read that and i was just like i freaking love that part of love and other words so obviously i loved it here those parts or like parts like that always get me i don't know why i just started crying it's not even like i guess it is sad i don't know i'm really connecting with this book but guys 
it's 2.09. I have been up for, or I've been reading for, I'd say it's been two hours. I was like halfway, a little over halfway when I started, and now I have that much. And usually when I'm reading a book at night, I'll put it down when my eyes get tired. I have not gotten tired because I need to know what was happening and stuff. So first, what I predicted was right. There's like a half of it that I didn't predict, but it was a lot. I just needed to update you guys because I literally am not sleeping until I finish this book. I'm gonna finish it. I'll let you know when I do. Guys, I'm crying again. I don't know what it is about these tropes. I think it's just so wholesome. But I just finished. I have an epilogue left, but contrary to popular belief, I don't like epilogues, so I'm gonna read it, but I don't really care. It's 2.24. <sighs> I love this book like so much I'm so sad it's over i love sam the main guy in this book i love him literally like real feeling that i love him he is so selfless and he is so Ugh. i'll talk about it more in the morning but we finished the first one in this reading vlog and it was very good I remember when i said i don't like epilogues i liked that one <laughs> this book that's enough for me. I just needed to tell you that I did read the epilogue. Some epilogues don't hit. It's just like you did not need to include this, but this one full circled it for me. So unwell. We'll talk about this in the morning. Okay. Good morning. Time to debrief before I start my next book because I'm just on a reading high and I want to start my next book because I heard that this next one is also like incredible. So I know that I bashed it a little when I started reading it and I do stand by that. That's how I felt when I started reading it. And then after I got like after halfway, the first half was good, don't get me wrong. Like I love tropes like that and books like that. So like getting to the characters, their childhood, how they act together, like I loved it. Second half, when you're like building up to what happened to them, even though I guess what it was, like I was so connected to them that it like hurt me and it was so good don't know if i said this yesterday or maybe i did i think i did i don't like epilogues but this one was just so good and i just love these characters i love the setting i love the trope i love like everything about it i read it in a five out of five great start to this video you'll never top love in other words even though it's like very similar i feel like this is a spicier version of love in other words Anyway, another book that I have heard nothing but good things about, we're doing it. This one I'm pretty sure is inspired by Schitt's Creek, and if you know me, you know. Schitt's Creek is one of my favorite shows ever, like, if you know I watch Gossip Girl, like, every night. If it's not Gossip Girl, it's Schitt's Creek, so I'm excited. I'm pretty sure this is Enemies to Lovers, but we're gonna find out. It's 9.30 a.m. <laughs> Right, I'm outside right now. Let's talk about this book. I am on page 30. I think what it is. This book obviously came out like more recently, but I like how like modernized I guess it is. The character, her being like a socialite and stuff. I don't know. It seems like predictable, like what's gonna happen, how she's gonna react when she gets to the town because she just got kicked out, and like the book seems predictable. And usually that would bother me, but I think I like it because I like the characters. I like her personality. Like it's funny. I mean, I guess it's not funny that she's so like out of focus with reality, but it's funny to me just like her reactions to stuff. But yeah. I think I like it so far. Like I said, it's kind of predictable, so I don't know if that's gonna like bore me a little, but it could surprise me. We'll see how it goes. I just realized this book is told in third person. I actually had no idea. I didn't read that much further. I just read a page because I had to go do other things. I just realized that it's in third person, and I don't know how I didn't catch that because usually I don't like third person. I'm a big, not third person hater. I feel like I, you can connect more and it feels more personal when you're in first person, so that's all. I'm gonna keep reading now. I just needed to tell you guys that I just figured that out. can't get past like 70 pages i think 76 i keep putting it down and coming back to it i don't know why i'm so bored i think just because it's like still the beginning i don't know how to really explain it i'm just like bored and i know it's gonna pick up eventually hopefully soon i'm gonna try to get to 100 and see if that's a part that gets more interesting fingers crossed because i'm like really hoping i love this book because everyone loves it like whenever i see it anywhere like people like love it so i'm hoping that's the same case for me i'm always so disappointed when i don't like a book that everyone loves and it happens frequently but i have high hopes for this one i made it to page 116 and i know it's still not that far but i'm trying just picked up and i'm like loving it again i just like sometimes in the beginning especially enemies to lovers books you kind of have to just like get into the characters at least for me so you can tell that he cares about her brendan he's like he did a few things for her and like i love it and then she also like just met someone that kind of made the story interesting so now i'm intrigued to keep going hi for the grumpy sunshine that it is i like it he's not like a grumpy where he's obnoxious and mean and stuff he's just like in his roots like where he's from it makes sense for him and i like their dynamic i think it's cute but i think i can understand the hype because i know a lot of people love grumpy sunshine and like tropes like this like small town romances whatever and i think it's for those tropes done really well it's not my favorite trope personally but i could see why everyone loves it every summer after i didn't want to touch my phone or pick up my phone i needed to know what was going on with this one like i'll go on my phone and i'm like oh wait i need to read a little bit more you know it's not like i would want to know what happens i feel like now it's getting like pretty good i just feel like brendan goes on these like fishing trips like after what they're doing right now he's leaving for two weeks for a fishing trip and i'm just like i don't know 
I don't really like the whole fishing thing. It's like not my thing, but whatever. Okay, I'm gonna keep reading. I'm gonna shower and then keep reading. Hello guys, I'm on my chair. I've been reading. I think I'm a little over halfway now. Seems like it, looks like it. I know that people said this book was like spicy. They weren't kidding. One thing that I don't like in books, and I don't know if it's just me. It's a little bit random. It's really not that big of a deal. Like I can read it, I don't care. When the guy just randomly calls the girl baby. Out of nowhere, they're not dating. They're just, you know, and he calls her baby. I'm just like, don't do any nicknames right now. How about we just don't do that? I can get over it. I can completely get past that. It's not gonna ruin a book for me, but it's just weird. Anyway, I just feel like I know how this is gonna end. That's fine, because it happens with like a lot of books. I'm enjoying it not as much as every summer after for sure but it's definitely like a good a good book a good book for what it is i'm on 3 34 and i love them brendan is her soulmate brendan is perfect for her i don't even care that this book is tropes that it's not my favorite it was done so well and it just like is such a wholesome book but also like it has like i don't know it's so good i love them together and how they like care for each other but also how piper was just so shallow in the beginning and just like surface level of with literally everything except her sister but no just seeing how like well-rounded she became being in west point being in a small town away from like her shallow friends it's just so nice so i don't have that much left i think i have about 50 pages maybe i don't know i want to read the second book with hannah but not yet i don't think i don't want to read it right after this i don't want to put myself in a slump so i'm not gonna do that i'm not like dying to read it back to swinging and reading and i will come back when i finish I mean, to the beach. Finally. I am by myself. It did take me a while to park, but I'm here. I felt like it was important to read a book on the beach for this video. I did finish. It happened one summer last night. I gave it a four out of five. I loved the two of them. Loved the relationship. I did love the ending. I felt like they resolved as much as they could over like what happened. And I feel like their fight was like a fair fight. Like it wasn't one in like, like normal books when they're like trying, not trying to break up, but like when there's an issue at the end of the book. This one like felt like fair, reasonable. Not just like they were just picking a fight because it's the end of the book. So the books I brought with me, the first two in the Winter in Paradise years by Ellen. I read the first one, but I don't remember it. So we're gonna read it again. It's also like the smaller book. There's only like 300 pages. So I don't know if I said what this book was about. I talked about it in other videos. Basically a woman, she gets a call that her husband is dead from a helicopter crash on, I think it's St. John, an island. And she goes to do what she has to. And then she finds out he had a whole other life there. Like when he took like business trips and stuff. So kind of like a mystery, but then like her and her sons go there. They find out he had a house there. I think there's like subplots of like romance and stuff with one of the islanders and one of the sons. I love Ellen's writing and like the perfect setting right now is the beach. So I'm really excited, like about to start it right now. I mean, I know what happens in the first book. Not really, I don't really remember. I read it last year sometime, but. Hello, I am back at the beach. I came with my mom, it's Memorial Day. I got to page 193 in the first book. I'm gonna go finish it right now. But you guys already know how I feel about the first one. Like, I love it. It's definitely a four to five, it's not a five out of five for me. I feel like the second one's gonna be five out of five because you like uncover more things, but yeah, it's a beautiful day. Finished the first one a little bit ago. I forgot how much of a cliffhanger this loves you on, which obviously I feel like it was going to. I just forgot what was coming because we need something to get us into the second one. But I did start the second one. I'm a little bit in. It was so good. It's exactly how I remembered it. It's like casually written, and then all of a sudden you get like a, a twist and you get like something uncovered and so good. I love her writing. It's so refreshing. And I did go to Barnes and I bought the third one, which sadly they only had the big version. And I asked, I said, Do you have the little version of this? And they said it comes out in August. So I'm gonna have to suck this one up. Something about little books to me. I love it. I, it's unpopular opinion, I know, but I love little books. I feel like I read them quicker. And then I bought Hook, Line, and Sinker. I'm gonna continue, read this. I will come back with updates, how I'm liking it. I hope the series lives up to the first one because the first one's really good. I'm gonna read now. I don't know where I went yesterday. No, the day before yesterday. It's been a few days, but I didn't read at all the past couple days because I had a lot of work to do and errands. I had a doctor appointment, like I had a lot to do. In between that, yesterday, I spent the whole day finishing this book. This one I gave a four to five. It's weird because the way that she writes it, like I said, was like refreshing, but it's like as if nothing's happening, so much is happening. The way she writes it, like you're reading it and you're reading about what's going on in everyone's lives. So like there's so much confusion, there's issues going on. And then all of a sudden there's a plot twist cliffhanger and then you get someone else's point of view. And then you have to get back to that. And it's like, you're reading about their lives and it's so like calm, but there's also like so much going on. I think that's what I love. Like it's not like so high intensity, even though like it is. This one, you find out a lot more 
more about the husband it happened on the plane you get more timelines of that which i like and her books are so realistic like this i feel like could possibly happen like it's not like a far-fetched plot line and storyline of what happened to the husband and what's going on and all the logistics of life the wife and the kid so i read the first little point of view of the third book again i got the big one I'm very upset about it what do i like about this one it starts like i said there's everyone's point of view is in this book or in all the books this one started with saint john point of view which is the island that they're on and it's talking as if it were like a person saying that like the gossip of the island and the last little sentence was some people go so far as to call our island paradise but we quickly remind them even paradise has troubles and it's called troubles of paradise so i'm very excited i read just that point of view and then it starts with irene the second book ended on a cliffhanger so obviously we're gonna find more out i'm wondering how this book ends i have like an inkling of how it ends but there's a lot going on and it's crazy because like i said everyone's point of view to get everyone's like personal lives and what's going on in their lives and it's like you have personal issues but you also have the big major issue of the husband and the helicopter and so good literally so good but we are going to try to get through as much as we can today of this one right, this has been a little over a week at this point but we're going to finish the books that i talked about i'll just still name it reading the summer books in a week but it's just going to be a little over a week sorry that i catfished all of you or clickbaited all of you but we're still reading summer books together so it's fun i'm gonna get my nails done we're gonna continue reading okay So this one, okay, first one, you get a lot of mystery because it's like whatever's going on. Second one, you find out more about the husband, the helicopter crash. And then this one is more about the characters in the book and their personal lives. So you don't just get a story about a wife figuring out what happened to her husband and all of the mysteries with that. You get the main woman character and you get all of the characters involved. And this one, you get more point of views of other characters that weren't in the first two. You also get St. John point of view. And then she brings like awareness and she just like a whole scene and part at the end of the book about a hurricane, a huge hurricane hurricane that hit St. John and the characters and what happened because Ellen like the actual author visited St. John 10 times I think that she said I've read the author's notes and they suffered a really bad hurricane the stuff and the places that she talks about were real places but they unfortunately got ruined when the hurricane came so some of the stuff is not real anymore some of the places but she writes about them and then at the end there's like a hurricane that happens to everyone but like things happen it's it's really good again I love how realistic she writes I think her books are so amazing I'm very happy I finished the series it wasn't what I expected it was more calm I think that's like most of her books that I realized she's like just such an amazing just literary fiction writer and I love her and it was so good the whole series I'm gonna give a four out of five just because I don't know that's how I feel but it was so good I literally just woke up and finished the book I had like 20 pages left that was my reading vlog I think this has been a little over a week but I did read these summer reads I recommend all of them I recommend the series it happened one summer every summer after like they were all amazing so I'm very happy that there were no flops in this video but that'll be fun it's basically like the start of summer right now and i want to get through some beach read summer reads so if you enjoyed let me know if you've read any of these books or if you want to now or if you have any other summer reads for me that's all for this video thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoyed and i will see you hopefully in the next one bye